keep the union. If you remain in constant contact with God, if you are vitally united with God, all of the power of heaven is at your disposal. Did you get that? Think about that for a moment. Think how wonderful it would be to have such harmony with God that He did everything you asked Him to do. According to Jesus, that kind of prayer power is available to every believer. It's available to you and to me if we will make our union with God the most important thing in our lives. So let's do it. Let's stop compromising and allowing the things of the world to eat away at our time with God. Let's get His Word into our hearts so deeply that no one else's opinion seems important. Then let's start asking. Let's ask for what we need. Ask for what we want. Ask God to meet the needs of others. And of course, believe we receive when we ask. We won't have to be shy about it. We can be bold, knowing that when we give God priority in our lives, He gives us priority in His life. That's what Jesus meant when He said, Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love Him and will show myself to Him. Life in Jesus is gloriously easy. It has one responsibility, the responsibility of remaining in union. If you stay in union with me, I'll take care of everything else. Isn't that delightfully simple instruction? You keep the union. He'll take care of everything else.